Hey, hey, Angie Fenimore here, and this is Fat Chat with my writing coach. Okay, I am gearing up to watch the debate, as you may be as well. We're ordering pizza, and uh, yeah. Anyway, even though I've already voted, I am going to watch. Okay, so I just finished the masterclass, the three secret ingredients for writing and publishing success. If you missed it, and you want to see this, it's free and it's fabulous. Send me a private message and I'll send you the link to the recording. So what we cover is like very cool. So I'm just gonna tell you secret number one, every story is viable when you understand what actually makes a story work. I get this question all the time. Is this story good? Is this story good? I don't know if this is a good idea. They're all good ideas. If they're, if they're structured in such a way that where the structure disappears behind your story and you're leaving your readers with um, emotional impact in the right places and then catharsis at the end. Secret number two, you must have a cradle for your creativity and you must connect yourself up to a greater good. This is how you get past all of this imposter syndrome and like, oh, I don't think it's good enough. If you are connected to um, a bigger purpose. And it, it, it's like, it just has to speak to you. It doesn't even have to be important to anybody else. It just has to sing to you. Then you can get through those moments where you are disempowered or where you think you should quit. All right. And then you also need to create a cradle for your creativity, a cradle, a cradle, protect that baby. And I know I talk a lot about staying empowered. It's because it's a fundamental. It's never going to get finished. The book's never going to get finished if you get disempowered along the way. True. Okay. True story there. Okay. Secret number three. The magic happens in revision. So <clears throat> I know some of you are gearing up for NaNoWriMo. What you want to do is you want to start with a storyboard. Okay. Make sure that you actually see the arcs, uh, the arc in your story. You have to have... All of that mapped out should be maybe a half a page long and then you're drafting but then you have this storyboard that you can refer to so that you're not writing yourself in the corners okay and um like getting i don't know forty thousand words down and it's like oh this is really good but i don't know where i'm going with this that's the best way to end up in NaNoWriMo just typing nonsense and right okay so we NaNoWriMo hits one thing, and that is the typing. That is it. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have a viable story when you're done. Okay? So the magic happens in revision. Use that time to draft the project, to get a good solid draft, um, and start with a storyboard. Okay? There you go. All right. Don't forget, send me a private message if you want um, a link to the recording of the masterclass, the three secret ingredients for writing and publishing success, Hint, talent isn't one of them. All right. Um, so debate time for me. And um, I will see you on the flip side. Challenge for today is um, give yourself permission to be in your jammies. Get your, give yourself permission to have all these emotions and thoughts and experience that you're having right now. We're going through a tough time. Don't forget, you know, down the road, 20 years from now. You know, something they're going to be talking about in, you know, history classes is 2020. Okay. So cut yourself some slack. Okay. All right. So, you know, be generous with yourself. All right. There you go. Okay. So your challenge today, take it or leave it, but mostly take it. <laughs> um, be generous AF. Ciao for now.